Now, when you talk about religion, is that a material or non-material part of the culture? Non material. Is material or non-material? Non material. It's non-material. Okay? You can't see it, you can't do anything about it. Who believes in a God? Say everybody. Well, what happens if you don't believe in God? Okay, well, does that mean that we say God? Okay, but remember, we have a, a, a Torah and a Quran and a Bible. We have all of those different things. Now, your book says something very strange. Your book is your chart. Okay? I think your chart shows up on page 64. Yeah, page 64. Let me get this page. Okay? Now, when you look at the chart, you will notice that they show you the chart. The chart says, that they have a, uh, the chart is entitled Religion is Important, and that's your, your axis on the left. And your axis underneath says purchasing power, power, meaning who has the money. You will note that the countries that are poor, they have like $10,000 of purchasing Look at that picture. That they start believing in religion up to almost 100%. Notice that the poor countries believe in religion. Okay? The poorer you are, the more apt you are to be religious. Okay? Now, and you see them all, they're all clustered around there and at, at high number. Now look at you as the purchasing power goes up in the country. The religious fervor goes down. As the purchasing power goes up, the religious fervor goes down. And in one exception, the United States. <laughs> That's the one exception that shows that we are a very religious country compared to all the other countries that have money. And that's one of the reasons that we keep, we have so much turmoil here because the religious people, that 80%, want to say that we want the other 20% of the people to be more religious. Okay? Another culture war. Now, is that interesting? Strange, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, and then you also, when you see these things, it shows you that it fits sociologically. Is that you understand that when somebody blasphemes or does something in, about the Iraqis and their and Muhammad, why they get so upset about it? Because they all believe. And you don't go about it. Their system of government believes. And all of their whole, all their value system and culture is built around religion. All built around religion. Okay. Now, I didn't see the Soviet Union down in Let me see what that has. Russia. Russia with Russia. I didn't see under six. Now we go from here <coughs> to what we call knowledge. And notice that we were talking all about the elements of culture. Okay? Now, excuse me, I just want to make sure that we're doing everything we're supposed to be doing. I, I want to go back. I see a chart that I missed. Okay, so you all 
And you'll notice that when you look at that chart, it sort of shows you the rates of taxation and poverty rates among industrialized countries. Okay? Now these are folks that are still the agrarian society, but all society is industrialized. What you see is that you will note that we are way up high in terms of the money that we have, you see the United States, and look at our tax rate, as opposed to someone like Denmark. Now, Denmark has something like a 50% tax rate. That means that people pay 50% of their income back to the government. Why is that? Well, one of the reasons is because they're more of a social, their capitalist and welfare system, okay? Now, now, by that, what, what happens is that they get a lot of things for free, like, our, like the health care system, okay? And to a large extent, housing, all of those things where they don't have these problems that we have. And then what you will discover is that, that as they move like that, it should show somewhere that the level of poverty is not as great. Now you see what happens? It gives you, Denmark is paying 50% in taxes. And their poverty rate is something like 5%. They don't have people in poverty. Did you see that? Okay? Because they, they're, more, uh, uh, they're more socialized, so to speak. Okay? Now, when you move along, you will discover that the higher the tax rate, the lower the poverty. The higher the tax rate, the lower the poverty. Our tax rate is something like, 30. Uh, say 30, probably in the 20s, okay? And look at our poverty rate. It's high. And these are the kinds of things that happen. This is due, these things happen. This is research, what, what is uncovered, okay? So when people talk about they don't want to be taxed more and more, you'll see that we cry that we're taxed too much, especially the rich. You understand? They, we act like the government is just taking all of our money, we can't pay anymore, and yet we have a high poverty rate. And the disparity between the people who have and the ones who have not is greater here than almost any place else in the world. Okay? Now, I'm not saying what is good or bad. All I'm saying is that you should bear in mind that you pay for, for when you when you tax more, it just redistributes the wealth more. And we're not about just redistributing wealth. Okay? Now, Now, we want to talk about, now, this, now bear in mind that we're talking about all of these things is about our, our, our value system, okay? Now, what has happened is that one of the things that are embedded in culture is things like knowledge. And what do we mean by knowledge? And we just say we have a knowledge in the process that has been passed from what is it? What, what does knowledge do? Knowledge is knowledge. Well, your book says that knowledge helps you navigate your culture. Okay? Knowledge helps you navigate your culture. Now, what do they mean by that? Well, I think your book points out to say, look, in this culture, people know how to use cell phones. You need to know how to use a cell phone in this culture. Okay? All right? People use computers. Most people, the more you navigate, you, you, you 
embed yourself in the computer, uh, in the culture, the more you learn how to use computers, okay? You know that you use credit cards. Everybody knows how to use credit cards. That's knowledge. Somebody says, here's a piece of paper, a piece of plastic, this is what you use. If somebody comes in and you say, Mommy, I need to go to McDonald's and get so, 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 so. You say, well, pick up my credit card and take it to McDonald's. Okay? You don't say, here's $5. I'm just saying that. It's just like a better, a better way of functioning in life than your knowledge of your uh, culture. But that's right. You need to know the knowledge of the culture. Okay? The one that you're in, whatever that is. All cultures have different things. This culture says that this culture is rapidly moving towards eliminating money as a means of, 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 of purchasing. Okay? Because you will notice that McDonald's doesn't even play with you. You just go in, you order something, give them your credit card, and they snap it off. You, you don't sign anymore. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay? They just run it through your account. Done deal. Okay? So now everybody knows that, look, your kid knows, take your credit card and I can go and get me uh, a, a Big Mac, I can get whatever, just give them a credit card. Nobody cares anymore. Okay? And the thing that people really do is use money. You would think that you use money more often, but we don't. This country is rapidly moving towards everybody using credit cards. Now, all societies are not like that. But you need that knowledge in this society because that's the way we function.